Ha ha ha! Ahoy, matey! Ha ha ha! Arg! Ha ha ha! Can you guess what Miss Murray and I are doing today? Ha ha ha! We're playing pirates! That's <laughs> right! We found us a treasure map. A treasure map? <laughs> and I can't make heads nor tails out of it. Ah, well, let me see that. Let me, it looks like a map, all right. Let's show the boys and girls. Ah, let's see. See, X marks the spot. That must be where the treasure is. Well, mm. let me look. Let me see. The treasure's right there in the middle. Mm-hmm. And then on one side, I see a bird. Yes, I got my hook. That's a bird. A bird. <laughs> and on one side, there's like a, looks like a bugle or a trumpet. That's, yep. And then up above it, I see like a, looks like a fat angel. <laughs> I think so? I think you might be right there. Where could oh, it be? Where could it be? Bugle? Ah, right back there. What? Let's let's check it out here. Here it is. A bird. A, bird, a, a bugle, bugle. A fat, fat angel. angel. This must be the treasure. Oh, yes. Ah, Arg. Ah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Mette. Open up the treasure. You think we should open it up? There's the X right there. Let's open, let's it, open up. it up. Oh, I've always wanted some treasure. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. Some jewels. Ooh, they're red. Ah. My favorite. Look, look at all this money. Golden coins. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute, matey. What? These are plastic. This is not real gold. Plastic? Let me try. You're right. And these are not jewels. This is just some leftover Christmas decorations. Worthless. Oh. oh we were fooled again. No, <laughs> no treasure. Is that all? Oh. There's something else in here. Some kind of book. What's that? Oh, I believe, Matey, it's a Bible. A Bible? Ah, well, that is a real treasure, boys and girls. Yes, we hit the jackpot. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you your Sunday school story that came out of the book of Luke in this Bible. And do you know what? The story today has treasure in it. Ooh. Ah, well, let me take this off because I can't see with one eye covered up. That's much better. You can take yours off too if you want to. Okay, we have been learning about things that Jesus taught. And do you know he taught about things, about possessions, about things that we have. And that's what we're going to be talking about day, today from the book of Luke. You know, Thousands of people had gathered to listen to Jesus' teaching. And one time, somebody in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share our father's money with me. Well, do you know what Jesus said? He said, Watch out and be on guard against all greed. That man was being greedy. Mm. True life is not found in what you own. Then Jesus told the people a parable. He said, a rich man owned lands that produced many crops. And he didn't have anywhere to store all the things that he grew on the land, all those crops. So he said to himself, I'll tear down my barns and I'll build bigger ones. Then I'll have so much stored up that I can stop working and relax. But God told the man, you're a fool. You'll die this very night. And then what good is everything you would stored up? No Jesus good. told this story as a warning to people who store up treasures on earth and who are not generous towards God. 
You shouldn't always be hunting treasure and things like that. That's not what God wants us to do. Then Jesus told his disciples, don't worry about your life or your body, about what you'll eat or what you'll wear. He said, think about the birds. They don't plant or collect grain, but God feeds them. Aren't you worth more than the birds? That's what Jesus said. He also said, think about the wildflowers. They don't work or make clothes, yet they're lovelier than a rich king with all his fancy clothes. If that's how God takes care of grass, which grows today and is cut tomorrow, how much more will he do for you? Exactly. So he makes the beautiful flowers. If he does that for flowers and plants outside, think about what he'll do for us. Jesus told his disciples, don't worry about food or drink. You seek God's kingdom, he said, and God will provide what you need. God's happy to give his children the kingdom. And finally, Jesus said, sell your possessions, sell all you have, and give it to the poor. A thief can take away the treasures you have on earth but treasures you have in heaven last forever. For where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. So doing things like that stores up treasures in heaven. You know what? Jesus is our greatest treasure. Yes. Jesus left his place in heaven to live here on earth. He obeyed God and he set up his kingdom. And we can give generously and trust God to provide everything that we need. That's exactly right. Thank you for sharing that, Bill. You know, and looking at this treasure map again, if you look at it this way, it's an X. But if you turn it just a little bit, it's a cross. And that just shows us that our treasure is in Jesus. That's right. I love it. I love it. All right, well, let's have our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we sometimes look at all the treasures this world has to offer, and we lose sight of what you want for us. Help us to serve you by helping others, and in doing so, build our treasure in heaven. Through Jesus we pray, amen. And all God's children said, amen. amen. All right. Before we go, there's a couple of things I want to tell you about. Every week, Miss Joanna puts on the Facebook page our little leaflet. So she'll be doing that again today. And in the leaflet, you can read the whole story there. It's got a treasure here and a little activity that you do and some other things. There's like a, a Bible story puzzle right here. So make sure you look at that. And then another exciting thing that I need to tell you about is, you know, boys and girls, we haven't been able to meet together and have Sunday school. And this year, we're not going to be able to meet together and have vacation Bible school like we usually do. But we haven't forgotten about it. We're going to have a virtual vacation Bible school. That's one that you'll do at home with your families and friends and brothers and sisters and all that. But you need to come up to the church, if you haven't already done it, and pick up a packet with all the supplies that you need for uh, Vacation Bible School. Uh, you can come this morning during church at 1030, 1030 to 1130, and people will be there if you want to pick up those uh, VBS materials. It's a lot of fun. Lots of things to do every day uh, for the week of virtual Bible school. Okay? Yes. You think this matches with my head piece oh, here? You look lovely. You oh. say that to all the pirates. <laughs> all right, boys and girls. Have a great week with your VBS. Yes. We'll we see you next you. week. We love and miss you. Bye-bye.